Hey there guys, John Campy here and thanks for visiting my movie vlog and I'm here to give you my quick review of The Dark Tower. This is a movie I've been waiting a long time to see. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting a long time to see. Of course, a lot of us have been very, very nervous because the studio, Sony, decided not to show this film to film critics until the day before the film opens. Usually a giant red flag that the studio doesn't have faith in the film. So how did it turn out? Well, not as good as I had hoped, but not as bad as I had feared. The story basically follows this young kid named Jake, played very well, by the way, by this young actor named Tom Taylor. And he has dreams. He's a New York kid, and he has dreams every night about this other world and this man in black who's trying to take down this dark tower that will destroy all the worlds in the universe, and he's trying to be stopped by this guy called the Gunslinger. And of course, one of the big reasons a lot of us have been excited about this film is because the man in black is being played by Matthew McConaughey, the Gunslinger is being played by Idris Elba, and the idea of seeing these two dudes on screen going head to head has made a lot of us like really freaking excited. Let me start by talking about a couple of things that I liked about the film. First of all, I'll start with the performances. Like I said, this young Tom Taylor kid did an extremely good job. I was really impressed with him, especially considering his age, and the fact that a lot of the weight of the movie rests on this kid's shoulders, and he does a pretty damn good job. As far as Matthew McConaughey, you know, the dude brought everything you thought he would bring to the role playing the man in black. Every Everything is advertised. He delivered absolutely wonderful the way he played it. As far as Idris Elba goes, very satisfied with the performance he gave as the gunslinger, but honestly, there wasn't a lot there for him to do. It's almost like there was a little bit of a wasted opportunity with an actor the caliber of Idris Elba to give him some more things that'll get him to stretch a little bit, and they just didn't have a lot for him to do, but overall, he played his character well. Now, of course, the best thing about this movie is the underlying mythology and story behind it, the idea that there's this world where this dark tower stands that protects all of reality, and should it fall, you know, hell is unleashed on all the worlds, and there's this almost race of beings known as the gunslingers who have forever been the protectors of the dark tower with this evil man. And I mean, just really the story of it, you're caught up in the fairy tale of it. It's so fascinating. And obviously this all comes from the Stephen King novel, but they did a really good job of communicating the wonder of this overall mythology. And that was really the key to this film. But while this underlying story and mythology is the key to the success of the film, it's also, unfortunately, really what leads to the things that are bad about the film, and that's this. The one word that I would describe The Dark Tower as is thin. Not thin in terms of this meaty mythology, because there's a meaty mythology there. Not thin in terms of thin characters, because there are meaty characters there, but thin in the presentation, because even though there's a, there's a meaty mythology there, they never showed it to us. Even though there are really deep layers of thick character development potential there, they never show it to us. They talk about this dark tower. Okay, great. It's protecting the universe. Where does it come from? How does it protect the universe? Never says a word about it. Talk about the history of the gunslingers. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Never really talk about it. They talk about Idris Elba's character, who is the one man who can resist the magic of the man in black. Never touch on why or how or how long this has gone on. Has there ever been anybody else like that? Never even touch on it. Now, every movie out there will have a couple of details that you go, hmm, I wish they spent a little bit more time on that and delved into it. That's fine. That's to be expected. But when it starts happening over and over and over again, it's like, oh, this community, wonder what the story of that thing is. Oh, they're not going to tell us. Oh, this weapon of mass destruction thing. I wonder what the story behind that is. Not going to tell us. Oh, there's these race of creatures that wear human skins. I wonder why they do that. Never tell us. Oh, what are the gunslingers? Oh, why is he resisting the magic? Oh, why this? Oh, why that? What's with that community? What's with this? And they just never touch on it. Because, you know, when action happens or there are big dramatic events, they mean more to us as an audience when we understand why it's important, when we understand the character more, when we know what's going on. And there's so much of that that was ripped out of the story and ripped out of the movie. And this is really one of the big problems of the film only being 88 minutes long. Now, normally... I'm totally cool with a 90 minute movie. I think a 90 minute movie is a good target, but some films and some stories that you have ambitions for need to go beyond that to make it so it ain't thin, to give a little bit of meat to it, to give us an appreciation of this mythology and story you're setting up. So overall, did I enjoy the movie? Would I recommend you seeing it? Look, I'm gonna say this. I think there's still enough there that the film is still enjoyable and likable. And I think especially if you're somebody who's been looking forward to The Dark Tower, yeah, I would recommend going out and give it a shot. I think there's enough there to appreciate it. 
However, I'm just going to warn you right now, there's also enough missing that's going to make you feel walking it when you're walking out that you're a little bit unsatisfied. Like there's enough there to feel kind of good about it, but there's an absence of so much stuff that it's going to leave you feeling unsatisfied at the same time. So I come again back to that one thing I said at the beginning. Not as good as I had hoped for, but not as bad as I had feared. Look, the most important thing is here, what do you think about the Dark Tower? Have you seen it? What were your thoughts on it? Or if you haven't seen it yet, what have been your expectations going into it? Jump into the comments section and leave me your thoughts there. While you're here, guys, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on social media, on Facebook and on Twitter, simply at John Campia. That'll do it for me, guys. Until next time, bye-bye.